Hi, I'm Chris Montoya and I sell houses and this is Suzanne Lashley and she sells knowledge. Well, thank you. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yes. So we're here at the Kansas City Public Library and I guess the broad question is, can you tell me a little bit about what's going on with our fabulous library? Oh, we have something new just about every day. Mm -hmm. uh, we have youth programs uh, Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. um, we have adult programming, but that's been on hold because of COVID, so mm -hmm. we haven't had much of that going on. Uh, we're getting, we're gearing up for our summer learning program. That will kick off June 3rd with a program by Colorado Hogs. Mm -hmm. It's Tales and Tales is the uh, subject matter for the summer learning program. Mm -hmm. So everything will have to do with telling a tale and something that has a tale. So we, we're kicking it off with the, with the hogs. Um, supposedly it's an awesome program. It'll be outside in the park. That's awesome. I know, the, so that, this space in Canyon City, this park with the library, I know I was in a play once, just mm -hmm. the only one play ever, but I was in a play once, they did a play out there. I just love how they're using that space. And that actually kind of leads me to my next question. How long have you worked at the library? Um, I have been here 38 years. 38 years. So that's awesome because I was going to ask you, how do you feel the transition from what libraries used to be to all the services they provide now? Can, can you kind of give me a little bit of headspace on that? Oh my gosh. When I first started, we had card catalogs. That's <laughs> how long ago it was. The Dewey Decimal System. We still use the Dewey ah. Decimal System. And we use that here also, you know, as well in Canada, mm -hmm. the Canyon City Library. Um, what I am seeing the biggest transition is with uh, technology. Mm -hmm. uh, libraries are more and more shifting to technology. Mm -hmm. Your ebooks, your databases for homework rather mm -hmm. than your old world book encyclopedias. Um, we, our website has all of everything we have on it. It's an awesome website. Um, you know. So. Yeah. So and I, the, the thing I found most interesting or I find most fascinating about libraries is their, how they used to be, hey, we have books here. And now they're like, well, you can get books and information just about anywhere. Mm -hmm. We have community here. We have outreach we, here. We, we have, do. like I noticed you had a chess club here, a chess club we meeting. We, so as a, the transition, in my opinion, from how libraries used to function, correct me if I'm wrong, is they used to be very, yeah, check out a book, bring back the book, great. Quiet. Be quiet, quiet. be quiet, this, you know, no. very formal. And here, libraries are turning into this great community outreach we center. Are a that, community center. Yeah, that we provides, are. well, it provides a lot of things, you know, you know, people who don't have access to internet. You can come here and just Lear learning, sharing, and creativity. Yeah, I love the transition yes. that libraries have made. Yes. And, can you tell me a little bit about our Carnegie Library here in Kansas City? Oh my gosh. Um, that is something that all of us, we are so proud of. Mm -hmm. uh, about seven years ago, eight years ago, we, we finished the remodel, mm -hmm. uh, the restoration yeah. uh, of it. And everything is original in there, original floors, original tables and chairs, original bookcases. Um, they painted it exactly how it looked back in 1902 when mm -hmm. it was built. So it's just a beautiful space. It's our it's our pride and joy. It is beautiful. I'll tell yes. you that right now. Very beautiful space. So how long have you? So you've been here working here for 38 years. So how mm -hmm. long have you been in the community? Most of your life. Is All my it? life. All your life. Mm -hmm. And so can you tell me a little bit about some of the transitions you've seen in Canyon City? Oh my gosh, it, it, the most I've seen it change is in the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. It's growing, um, more interesting technology jobs are coming, mm -hmm. uh, a lot more recreation, Yeah, uh, trails and, and all that stuff being built. Yeah, so, for the longest time I always felt like Canyon City could really do something. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, you know, we can really do something here. We have so many great you know, attributes, we have, people are fantastic, so first of all, the people make Kansas City great, but we have the river walk, we have the river, we have trails, we the have gorge. the gorge. We have this amazing. We have all these amazing things. We never really, really knew how to put them together, and it seems like we're just now really putting the pieces together. Where people are like, Canyon City is a destination for me. Is that kind of and what you that's see? very true. That is very true. Yeah, that's kind of how I felt about this whole thing. And honestly, like I do a lot of small businesses, but I was really excited to do the library because a, it's near and dear to my heart. I do a lot of coaching and I do mm -hmm. a lot of outreach, so. Anything that helps kids or community, that's really kind of what trips my oh, trip. Oh, yes. And, and we're seeing more 
and more of that where the parents and the kids are being involved. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and so and I noticed we're in the we're in the upstairs level and this is the kids room. The we call it the youth department. The youth department. Yes. Very cool. So you can be a little louder in here. Oh, we're loud all throughout the library. We do not have a quiet spot. I heard well, you coming do. in. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> we do have a quiet spot, and that's it. We, a few of them in the Carnegie Park. Mm. People want to go in there and study. The majority of the time, we are not quiet. We also have our tech area in the mm -hmm. basement. Mm -hmm. And also down there is our makerspace with our 3D printer, our filming equipment, our green screen. Uh, we do a lot of that. We do a lot of filming of our programs for Channel 191. Mm -hmm. So we're, you know, we do all different things here. Yeah, you guys are diverse. The, you guys for sure, libraries in general, but you guys for sure have diversified and really kept up with the times. We've and, had to. And, and created what mm -hmm. libraries are becoming now. I, I just right. love that idea. And I, honestly, I just love the space and, and the park, how it provides it. It's just so cute. Mm -hmm. I don't know a better way, way to put it, but it's really cute. It is. It so, turned out great. I guess we're at the part of the interview where you get to ask me one question. Okay. Um, what made you decide to do your five minutes with Chris? Um, so when the pandemic kind of kicked off and I always think about these things, I always thought, you know, how do I really give back? What can I do to highlight what I love about my community? You know, I'm on the phone all the time. I talk to people from out of state and they're like, oh, tell me about Canyon City. And then when I say things like, Canyon City is the weather capital of Colorado, please look it up because it's actually Canyon City is the weather, Colorado, weather capital of Colorado. Canyon City has great shops downtown. I didn't have a way to express that with the reality. And honestly, I think there's part of it that's like giving back, you know? These, all of our small business community has, you know, they've really banded together. And I just like the idea of, taking care of the people who take care of us. That's so very true. We, we do have people come in that are thinking about moving here mm -hmm. and they come in to check to see what we have to offer, what our youth programs are. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, and that's kind of how it, yeah. it got started. I just wanted a kind of a cool way to give back. And I was like, I could do this, you know, yes. and I can be cheesy on TV. So I don't know. <laughs> awesome. Hey, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Chris. Thanks guys. Chris Montoya.